What is going on, guys? We are back with another video, and we're the Browns. And uh, let's just say I'm not too excited. I'm sorry, Browns fans, but this has kind of been a dreadful day for me. Our wide receivers aren't too bad. Terrell Pryor, God. <laughs> if you would have told me a, like two or three years ago that one of the best receivers on the Browns would be Terrell Pryor, it's just so wacky I'd believe it, you know? Uh, Achilles tear. Thing is, I think I have pre-existing injuries off, so that shouldn't be a big deal. But we are going to try to build this team up. Just making the playoffs from what we have right now is a huge an accomplishment, but we, we want more than that. I mean, let's be honest. So here, I know it's a little bit of a trade, but Joe Hayden, Demario Davis, and Jamar Taylor for Brandon Cooks. I really like Brandon Cooks, and with the way the Browns are kind of developing that developing wide receiver, I think he complements this wide receiver core nicely. I want to keep Josh Gordon. I don't know if we're going to be able to re-sign him, though. Um, I might just work with what we have. So after realizing their mistakes, the Browns, they get Carson Wentz for a little bit cheaper than they would have if they uh, would have drafted him in the first place. So they do trade away two offensive linemen and a first-round draft pick for Carson Wentz, who I think is a decent choice. Uh, he's pretty decent development. Hopefully he develops for us. But then again, we are uh, the Browns, so we can take a good thing and make it bad. So we kind of screw over the Eagles here with their desperate need of a quarterback. Now we give them a second round, two potential uh, beast quarterbacks, depending. I mean, it'd be nice to see if uh, RG3 actually does go well with them. But we do get Brandon Graham, and I really love Brandon Graham in this game, which is why I got him. I'm definitely going to build whatever scheme we make on defense is going to be built around him. I absolutely love him in this game. And just like that, we have the best pass rush in the league, in my opinion. We have Khalil Mack and Brandon Graham. So Terrence Knighton, Will Hill, and a third-round pick goes to the Raiders for the beast himself, Khalil Mack. So here we are trading a second-round draft pick, Luis Vasquez, or Luis, Desmond Bryant, for Cordy Glenn and a fifth round, allowing us to move Cordy Glenn to right tackle now, I'm not saying we're going to keep uh, Joe Thomas. I would love to keep him. I think he's great. I think any team would be insane to get rid of him in real life, except for the Browns. <laughs> the Browns, with a 31-year-old left tackle making that kind of money, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. So here we trade Quinton Coble's a first round this year and a third round next year for Darius Slay. Does kind of need a contract soon, but have you seen our cornerbacks? We needed it desperately. Big thing now is to fill our linebacker core. I think we're fine with these guys. Um, well, maybe not Agba, but uh, we do need a new middle linebacker, I think. And, I mean, our team's kind of getting there. So we trade Greg Hardy and Nassib for Carl Joseph. We needed a safety, and he might be able to develop quickly for us. So that's a decent pickup. So here we trade Bernanu, Jeff Schwartz, and a fifth round for Alec Ogletree, who I think is going to be on a contract year soon. But I think he'll be fine enough to where we'll probably re-sign him anyways. So here we trade Duke Johnson, fourth round draft pick, and Whitner for Kyle Fuller, who I know does go up quite a bit when you put him at free safety, but our cornerback position is so bad. He's pretty much forced to play uh, corner, and I'm going to get rid of Tremont Williams. Don't you worry about it. He is not worth the money at all. And I'm a Packer fan, so I know these things. So here we're trading Tremont Williams, our next year first round pick, and seventh round pick for their first round pick this year on Chicago, which should be a decent pick, hopefully. And uh, we still have a few more things to do, even though our defense is looking stacked. Our offense is getting there. Just a lot of development pieces, really. He retrayed Owen Daniels, Josh McCown, and a fifth round draft pick for this year's Texans pick. You know, I said we were done with wide receivers, but not really. Joe Thomas, a first round draft pick, and Allen Bailey for. DeAndre Hopkins and I know a lot of you guys will probably be like you traded the best left tackle in the league for a wide receiver well I traded the best left tackle that is going to go down in the next few years uh, within actually probably this year even if he's the best in the league again um, players that are that old just they don't hold up that long really so I don't know what the Rams are doing I know McDonald and Brockers probably are on contract years but 270 overalls and a 69 overall for two pretty damn good players. And I normally, like, I'm not the first person that's going to be like, well, this is, like, the most realistic thing ever. That is confusing. Um, honestly, every single player I was offering them was green just about. Uh, let's take a look again. 
Like, look at this. What is their deal? Here we trade Delmas and Sean Hill for Breland in a fourth round. Now, I'm 100% sure that Breland is going to need a contract, but we needed a third cornerback, and we finally have that. So here we make our final trade, I believe. Uh, we trade away Randy Starks, a second round and third round this year. Very steep. But for Ronnie Stanley, it's ironic I said. I don't want to make the same moves all the time, but I believe we actually did get Stanley the last time. We are just about done with our initial roster, though. I think it's looking pretty decent. So here we trade uh, Poyer and uh, Hawkins for Kennard uh, from the Giants. And that pretty much sets the whole team up. I just have to change the positions around, and then we'll be with the final roster for the first season of this rebuild. So this is going to be our final lineup. And uh, it's looking pretty decent considering where we started as the Browns. Uh, the offensive line is really one of my favorite positions as we have three really young pieces that I like a lot. Even though this wasn't supposed to be the lineup, I switched that. All right, but uh, the center is really the big issue. I guess the right guard as well, he's getting a little old and he doesn't really have any development. Uh, the defense is kind of where you can get excited as this defensive line is insane. Uh, the linebackers are actually not that bad. I'm surprised the middle linebacker position is a C+. Plus. Um, I know technically we're in a 3-4 right now, I believe. So I'm going to have to switch that back. And if I'm not mistaken, we did not make the playoffs. So somebody must have... Exactly like I said, we were going to have a strong start. And this is one of the worst divisions I've ever seen. I've never seen some something this awkward before. Let's take a look and see what happened. Oh, this is where we were last off at. Got wrecked, got close game, somewhat wrecked, close game. So from what I'm seeing, we got some close wins and losses. So really iffy. You can't really tell what was going to happen. Uh, I want to see the divisions, or at least whoever was best. Okay, Packers, Patriots. For me, uh, Tom Brady has been winning the Super Bowl like last second. Uh, all right, Packers, okay. So, this is the worst division I've ever seen. A fitting reward after. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Did we, anyone go up? Marcel Reese went up. All right. Okay, I see you guys. I, I really don't feel like we did well at all. But let's take a look at the stats. See who did well and who didn't. Carson Wentz, not that great in my opinion. Um, did have a nice yardage, but the picks, touchdowns the picks wasn't as good as I wanted. Crowell. Most likely his last season on the team. We'll see. I wanted to use him because he's actually starting to heat up in real life. Um, Hopkins doing very well. Cooks disappointing very much. Gordon. Um, Terrell Pryor nowhere to be found. And either was Corey Coleman. What is going on? That is so weird. Uh, blocking absolutely insane. And you guys can see the duo. I believe Khalil Mack tied the sack record. I don't... It was, is it 22 and a half sacks? It might be 22 and a half sacks. Honestly, my guys don't good do good enough usually to for me to even think about it. But there, I'm actually going to take a look. Cody Parkey, probably the highlight of this team besides that pass rush playoffs with those credentials. Alex Smith taking MVP, Coach of the Year, Mike McCarthy. That'll be a snowball's chance in hell that he gets that. Carson Wentz does get Offensive Rookie of the Year, which is huge. Jalen Ramsey, I was trying to trade for him so hard. It's one thing I've not done yet in a rebuild, and it's going to happen. Um, whether it has to be me being the Jaguars or not, we're going to have Jalen Ramsey on the squad. Uh, Khalil Mack and Brandon Graham with best linemen. I really love Brandon Graham in this game, and of course, I mean, Khalil Mack is going to dominate every time. So we were actually able to get two really important coach upgrades. We got the scout expert scouting package and the weekly xp package which is really important we barely had enough and we don't know who is in the super bowl but we will soon find out who won seahawks and panthers are both ready for the super bowl but more importantly rookies college scouting and we don't have i forgot you don't get the stuff right away but this is one of the worst drafts i've ever seen we do need a running back this is the first time in a long time that i'll actually be looking for a running back early Ooh. Derek Lowry looking good, and he's got a choke. Is, is his name really Choke Wire? It's like Chi Oak Wire. That is, come on, EA. That is just creepy. I get you're trying to be funny, but please, please no more. Oh, I see a 6-3-2-2-8. I see a 6-3-2-2-8.
Man, this running back class is looking solid. I love how it says Tom Brady retires, one of the greatest late round picks of all time. He's debatably the greatest quarterback of all time, so I would will be willing to say he's the greatest late round pick of all time, for sure. But uh, the Seahawks did beat the Patriots by 11. Very rough for the uh, Patriots to lose it there. But I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty happy that happened. We don't know what the stats were, so once again, practically irrelevant. Keep forgetting that every single time. Doug Baldwin, Cyrie's happy about that for sure. Which is negotiate 17 players. A lot of them are actually going to be big names. Um, all right, not as big of names as I thought they were. Uh, 12 prior. So a lot of guys are about to be gone. Austin pass course. I think we're going to let all of these guys go. Uh, Barcavius Mingo. He's expensive though because everyone wants him. I think we can get Jared Cook for cheap. We could use a backup tight end. So, so we've offered a ton of contracts, lots of low ball deals. So I wouldn't even expect any of them to sign, but who knows? And we do actually get the punter. Not that that's the biggest of needs we had. So we now have combine grades and this middle linebacker looks solid. I think we are going to go for him. I think, I think it's one of these two guys. I think it's Zach Talley. What is what round? Mid second. That's definitely doable. Key word there, and we do get the first overall pick in the ninth. I like that. I like that. Obviously, I want the best I can get. This is a tough choice. Now let's take a look. Ah, we gotta take him. I can't. I can't. I can't skip on him. And he's got normal development trait, which is really surprising. But of course, with the the numbers he has, it's insane. Anton is ranked number two. Drafted at number one. He definitely would have went number two as well. I think that was totally worth it. Who are they going to take now? All right. So I guess teams just take players that are on the board that are high. So this was not great. But Ogba, our next two, our second rounds in the next draft for the Panthers' 30th pick overall. And please be decent. Please be decent. Oh, like he's such a, like he's not bad. He's actually a really good player, but slow development trait. That is so shocking. Once again, he goes. he's supposed to go 7th, and he's like a mid-second rounder, but yet, slow development trade. And if you watch my rebuilds, that's the one thing I normally hit is the development trade. So the draft recap is over, and that middle linebacker is really good. Development trade is rough. I'm hesitant a little bit about the price for this, but Kennard, Kirksey, and a next year second round pick for Vontae Davis... I'm, I'm a little hesitant because it's really, really expensive, but it does give us one of the best defenses in the league, if not the very best defense. Extremely thin on draft picks. We do trade Kelsey a first round next year and sixth uh, round next year for the Bears' first round draft pick this year again. So we are back, and we actually did upgrade a few of our players and uh, the team's looking decent. I think the big issue I'm having here is the offense is really rough. Uh, the defense is absolutely insane, but I don't know if that's enough to get it done, to be honest. So hopefully it is, but this is a really damn good defense. Not even a single question about it, and uh, I hopefully the defense can get it going, like I said. But uh, for the most part, that offense is looking a little suspect. Cody Parker is now from a 68 to an 82, just like that, after having an insane season. But let's, I mean, let's get into it. Let's see what we do. And I'm a little worried. I took a peek at the contracts, and this might be the biggest set of players to sign ever. But we did get the playoffs, and we're 12-4. and four. Holy crap. So let's take a look. Um, Russell Wilson did win the um, MVP award, but not expecting much out of that. Uh, some pretty solid wins here I'm seeing. Bengals, that's a tough team to win against. Titans, well, that's a question mark. Uh, so we beat some decent teams. All right. Okay, he's down on interceptions, so that's good to see. Rushing Tally, the rookie, had a great season, but he fumbled eight times, and I'm seeing that a lot over the last couple of rebuilds. Uh, lots of fumbles, and here we could see Gordon shining once again, even though he's not the number one, outperforming Hopkins almost every year. I know he had more yards last year than Gordon, but overall seemed like he played better. Um, Corey Coleman just pretty much useless. Blocking pretty solid from the offensive line. Stanley's actually playing really, really well. Defense, what do we got? Khalil Mack with 25 sacks and Brandon Graham with 21. So Khalil Mack and Brandon, and Brandon Cara, Graham, Graham stroke. <laughs> um, really awesome um, defense, though, for sure. 
Uh, cornerbacks, where the hell is... Va okay, Vontae, really? Zero? Zero? And I think Vontae is one of the guys that needs to resign too. Uh, do we have a guy on there? Who are we again? We're the Browns. All right. Coach of the year. No way the Browns coach wouldn't be uh, the coach of the year. Not even a question. Le'Veon Bell, as per usual. Defensive player of the year, Khalil Mack. Pretty expected. Uh, the Jaguars got a rookie starter. Anton Weathers. Very good stuff, my boy. Uh, best wide receiver, no. Best O-line, Cordy Glenn. Best D-line, Khalil Mack, of course. Best linebacker. We really didn't have anyone too insane. Uh, best kicker, Cody? No? I mean, he got fifth. He's been playing like one of the best kickers in the league for sure. Missed five the other year, two this year. So here, this is a tough choice. Um, Anton Weathers played really well. I do want to get him the development trait. I think we're going to buy these two trades. He's got quick. I think I want to get his um, other stats up, though, because this will make him a really good player. 84 overall, just like that. Coverage stats, we can get his man coverage all the way up to 74. Didn't upgrade his stat line, but, I mean, he deserves to. He's going to be one of the best linemen in the league. What's his strength looking like? Ugh. 87 overall. So we did spend all of Tally's XP on the development trait. Well, to me, we didn't get all the way up, but we got to quick. I think he already had normal. Um, I know he started at slow, but I think because he had a decent season, he went up to normal. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I don't remember seeing him have that much XP. And we also did get his awareness up to 80, which gives him an 81 overall. So he is actually becoming a player that can be used for sure. So after all of that upgrading, our team is looking really really solid the offense actually is getting a lot better overall that offensive line is starting to grow a little bit but that inside slash left side is a little worrying as you can see everyone is starting to develop in the downward direction i really don't remember how to check out your teams overall i used to know how to do it uh we are in 87 overall but i wanted to know what our defense offense was ranked so i mean let's go all the way to the next quarter and see what happens browns do get a touchdown back and they do get the two point but the defense I know the offense isn't playing well. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't know and just like that. That's game. That is game. I just come back to see an embarrassment, which is this freaking offense and defense. The defense, I don't know why, but the offense, I can see it. Interception by Ryan Chazier. Carson Wentz has been very bad for us, like especially here. And we lose 36-10 to 10 in our first game. Was against a tough opponent, but it doesn't help when your quarterback throws at least you know, three interceptions. I was about to say at least two. Uh, Le'Veon Bell did way outperform Tally. Uh, almost doubled his yards. Uh, our guy didn't fumble, though, so that's interesting. Uh, a new wide receiver they, they got, Adam Humphreys. Just the offense couldn't get anything done. Um, the defense did pretty decently, I guess. They did give up a lot of uh, touchdowns, but Brandon Graham with three sacks holy crap uh, wrong thing let's take a look at who did win Steelers did make it so oh so it's not done yet I think I think it might have been done but it's not gonna show but we're gonna scout here thing is I'm not seeing anything I like these drafts have been really bad this guy is actually not bad uh, he's actually really solid Cole Schilling I think we're probably gonna give him a shot very disappointing draft overall though I will say not even a question what about this guy he looks decent Nope. <laughs> so I really don't see much. It's probably going to be just us taking alignment. It's all right that we're not seeing much, especially this year since we only have one first round draft pick. I I'm promise you, if this is your first rebuild you watch of me, I have insane drafts, but just not this year. This has been a terrible draft and we don't have many players. Speaking of players, just wait. Just wait. Just, you know, just give it a moment. Bam. Like, Oh my god. He didn't say he wants a different contract or he wants to test free agents. He literally said, I want to play for a new team. Uh, Hopkins gets his deal. Uh, I'm not really liking this Vontae Davis issue here. We traded for him. Didn't really work out for us. We really need him. Don't get me wrong. That's not like we don't need him. Just the price is ridiculous. I know if we let him go, he's going to be very expensive. Uh, Brandon Cooks, another guy that does deserve a con. Well, he doesn't deserve a contract, but he obviously is going to get one. I think there's going to be another situation where I just let most of the cornerbacks go. I've done this in many other leagues, and it worked out all right for us. Um, Vontae Davis, though, he wasn't great. With that cap room, I don't think we can sign him, actually. So we have some players. Who do we got here? Okay, okay, AP. This is interesting. 
This is very interesting. Ooh, Greg Robinson. I actually wanted to trade for him that one time, and I couldn't get him. Question is, what kind of offers are people giving some of these players, especially ours? Fonte, I don't know if I want to sign him. He's expensive. He really is. He's an expensive player, and I don't want to sign him. Uh, and we got four players. Actually, all the players we want. So uh, I think we made a great choice, actually. We still have decent money. We got the players we wanted. Uh, we can move players to the guard spot if we have to. 20 million and a draft. I'm happy with that, actually. I think we're doing really well. This is the first time, though, that I've had a rebuild where I've needed to sign that many insanely good players. Oh, that guy's good, too. A little slow, but he's all right. Uh, this many decent players this early on. So the fact that we got through that with money left over is pretty nice. I'm, I'm actually really impressed by it. Thing is, we need offense. We need production on the offense. I think a lot of it does come from the O-line. I know they're playing well, but I think the overall of the O-line, if it goes up, that'll really help us. I'm going to take the guard if not. Well, I don't know, actually. We'll tell you, this will be a tough one. This is tough. But I don't care at this point with our money situation and our draft picks. If we have to, we'll trade down. Uh, I think they did take our left guard. Uh, did I see Shillins? Shillin? Shillin? I want to take a look. So the Eagles took Arsenex or whatever his name was. Okay, so our right tackle is there. I think we are going to take him too. He was a decent player. How good is he? Quick development trade. He's supposed to go number four. Very great choice by us. I do want to see who took our left guard though. I think it was the Falcons. It was the Falcons. So we're just going to trade down the rest of the draft. We haven't really had much of a draft at all, but that's all right because the team is looking all right. And we just signed most of our players to extensions. Carson Wentz, I think, will be fine for at least another year or two. The first thing I wanted to see was their left guard. So uh, in comparison, I would say our guy's a lot better. Not even a question. And we see the Eagles guy, Arsenex, very solid player. Um, actually really good. Holy shit, he was good. Normal development trait though, so that does draw him back a little bit. But you can always work from that as we know. So with this trade, we trade two sevenths and Gary Barnage for Mark Barron from the Rams. And with this trade, we trade Mark Barron, Carl Joseph, and a first round draft pick to get Travis Kelsey. We have like a 16 mil cap room. We signed most of our players. I'm not sure if Cav uh, Travis Kelsey is going to need a deal soon. Hopefully not. But uh, let's take a look at our roster. We have a pretty damn good one. Uh, by this time next year, we should be the favorites for the Super Bowl. We got Schillen, who's going to be upgrading. Uh, the rest of the O-line's been upgrading. Irvin's been a little slow. But uh, overall, this team has been upgrading. Uh, Cooks hasn't been going up as much as I normally would expect him to. But that's all right. Uh, defensively, the safeties are getting better and better. The linebacking core is one of the better ones in the league. Defensive line, it's un incomparable in this league. Um, the cornerbacks, they're getting a little worse, but uh, it it's pr production-wise, it's not going to be stroke again. Jesus. Production-wise, it's not going to get any worse because last year, our cornerbacks played really poorly. So, Ben Wierke, maybe he's that guy. Who knows? Maybe he's that guy. So, really, I'm not saying this is Super Bowl or bust. This is the year where I expect us to make it deep into the playoffs. And for sure, next year, this is where we win it all. Like... I normally am not super confident with the teams we build. I mean, you. I mean, usually I am, but I'm not super confident in the sense that uh, taking a team like the Browns to a team where I'm very, very, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I think this team's going to do it. I really do. Um, Carson Wentz has got to do it, though. So we actually have the chance to uh, sign our guys now, which I think is a smart idea. We have a 99 over, over overall Khalil Mack, and you can't let him slip. So we're going to give him this deal. We can always... Really, it comes down to signing one of these guys, Brandon Graham or Khalil Mack, and we do get that done. Um, Brandon Graham's not asking for a whole ton, considering he's actually been pretty productive as well. And this offer is perfect. That's the right length, but the financial side needs him. Oh, so, you know, Marceau Reese has been a really good guy about this whole thing. It just, every time, he he took a terrible deal where we gave him no bonus, basically. And then, oh, we're 2-1, and one, nice. Uh, and then... He fucking gets that deal where he's like, you know, I like it, but can you give me a little bit more instead of just saying, nah, new team. So at the midway point, I'm not super excited. We have a 4-3 and three record, and I'm assuming the Steelers are dominating. Yes, they are. The Ravens are doing absolutely porous. Very porous, Mr. 
something. I don't know. Let's take a look at the team schedule. See what was the deal. So we lost to 11 by the Steelers. Not surprising. Three-point win against the Ravens, who are one and six. Not happy about that. Uh, Three-point against the Broncos. That is pretty good. Lost to the Chiefs. They've been in the playoffs like every year. So honestly, I think it's more or less just a battle against tough teams. We haven't lost to a single bad team. So I'm proud of that. And we go 10-6 and six, as I expected. Uh, we're peaking, said. <laughs> uh, whoa, man, that now 14 and do. That's the thing. Um, in all these rebuilds, the Steelers are a dominant force. And speaking of a dominant force, Carson Wentz, how you doing, pal? You seem to have a pretty damn good season. A 103.5 passer rating. That might be one of the best in the league. And <clears throat> speaking of best in the league, Zach Talley holding the ball, not one of the best in the league. Uh, Travis Kelsey, not bad. Uh, Brandon Cooks, just an absolute disappointment every year. Corey Coleman did actually come into his own a little bit. DeAndre Hopkins performing well. O-line, not bad. Defense, we got a nice performance out of Mac as per usual. Not a super crazy performance like I'd wish, but all right. Brandon Graham, not great either. Uh, Ben A, Ben Wierke, Ben we Ben Wyke. Fucking don't know. Fourth in offensive yards, which is actually really surprising to me. And seventh in defensive. So that comes out to a 10 and 6 team. I'm a little surprised about that. Uh, the Steelers had players all over the board. Uh, Mike Tomlin, best coach of the year. So they had, well, they even had Shazier up there. They're always so really talented. It's been absolutely insane doing rebuilds this year with the Steelers just dominating Texans Joe Thomas. Which is our Joe Thomas, but he's what is his overall now? 97. So he's actually he's not dropping as much as I would have expected. Cleo Mack, best D lineman. Finally, we get something in that category. And Marcus Peters. So after all the upgrading we did, we are now a 90 overall. Well, well, well. Look who the Browns have here. A damn good team is what they got. So we are going to go all the way to the fourth quarter, and hopefully that means we're oh seven points. Although they scored right back. Hopefully when we get to the fourth quarter, we're within 10. Within 10. Uh, okay, We. I mean, we didn't get the touchdown. I'm not happy about that. I mean, so we're within 10 right now, but it's not the fourth quarter. Okay, okay. Three. Oh, what did we do there? Ah, oh, shit. This is a big one. Now, the thing is about this. I'm going to go change the possession because I know it's going to lose its mind. Let's go normal. So we are... Up by four, which is insane. So they have the punt, giving us the ball. First and ten. Nice Carlos Williams get down the field and completely stalled. Are they going to go for the field goal, though? Cody Parkey with the clutch field goal. Up by seven. Looking like we're probably going to win. And, and just like that, we have great potential, and we blow it. So we could have ended the game there with a decent drive. Not even not even having to end it, just, but just waste more clock, you know? Just simple. Uh, Trey, Trey, no, no, Trey, no, Trey, please, please clutch it up on this, okay, never mind, it's over, uh, tied up game, Carson Wentz, I've seen you do it before, oh, no, B Marsh, oh, Corey Coleman for 32 yards, but third and 12, <gasps> wait, what happened, I'm so confused, did he get a, did he get sacked and then threw another bomb, I think he did, I think he threw it down the field really well, why is Carlos Williams in, by the way? Did Carlos Williams have a lot of XP and then he ended up going higher than Tally? Maybe Tally has a really bad stamina. I don't know. But whatever it is, the the one-two punch from this running back core. Well, maybe not there. Second and goal. Four-yard gain. Put it in, Tally. Field goal. Wow. Okay, so they did waste a lot of the clock. Oh, thank God. We win by three against the freaking Broncos. I really thought they were going to clutch it. 92 overall to their 88. All right. All right. This is scary. But we have the better team. Like a promising win. Is it a win? Is it a win? The question is, is it a win? I think the answer is it is a win. Because we're just running the ball down the field. And that's a touchdown. Not really much they can do. I believe they actually made a mistake. And just like that, we win 28-10 to against the dominant Steelers, who are 14-2 in the regular season. That is really rough. Carson Wentz destroying it. Thank you, fans, for a great season. Too bad we fucking blew it. And let's see. Carson Wentz still threw an interception. I'm not happy about that. Zach Talley has proved himself very important. The rookie, well, he was once a rookie. Very good. And Corey Coleman's starting to come into his own a little bit. I would assume 
If there's anything the Browns fans can take from this video is hopefully that's what Corey Coleman's future looks like. Khalil Mack with two and a half. Shelton taking a half. Weathers and Wagner taking a half. Yeah, that's actually more important because my boys are known as a little bit of a fumbler. <laughs> the boy fumbled 10 times this season. I don't think he's fumbled once in the playoffs, though, which is where it counts, as I've said it many times. Oh, so we are. Okay, that bottom left of the screen had a stroke. Uh, oh, no, we're not. Okay, I knew I knew we weren't. I'm not stupid. Let's take a look at how the, um, what is it called? The Dolphins have been doing. Uh, where are they? All right, so the Dolphins, wait, what? The Dolphins had a bye, wait, what? Dolphins had a bye week at 10 and six. 92 overall against the 81 Dolphins. And I'm not talking about 1981, I'm talking about the 81 overall Dolphins. Fourth and four, so we actually did get 14 yards on third and uh, 18, which is nice. Khalil Mack with a sack. God damn, I love that boy. Fourth and 14, no go, that's most likely the game. Super Bowl trip, here we come. Not even a question. It's over. See you later, Dolphins. See you later. I love that little thing where it said AFC Champions, Browns. Um, terrible game by both quarterbacks. And Wentz just always finds his way to throw in a pick. And look at Zach Talley. He's good for 140 every game. Carlos Williams is actually a really decent uh, compliment back. Uh, kind of drags down the team a little bit, but he does get those hard yard McMullen the young left tackle for the Dolphins gave up a ton of sacks in general five sacks for the tackles Brandon Graham uh splitting the uh the games last game Khalil Mack had two and a half and uh Graham had like a half no he didn't even have any in this game he had three so that's impressive Roby and Breland not that bad so we are into the super bowl we took the browns to the super bowl and i'm not talking about the poop that i took 15 minutes ago wait no wait how many times okay about 32 minutes ago that that's not what i meant this is this is real all right this the love we have for each other is real as much as i want um you guys to think that i don't just win the super bowl all the time which by now you should probably figure that out <laughs> I also do want to win. I really do. You know, maybe in franchise, I'd, I don't mind taking a loss because it's like we were dominating for so long and then we just got butt raped on uh, that series of fantasy franchise, which is out every Monday, by the way. Five minutes and some change left. The Falcons have a chance to get down the field and they're, they're looking decent. They do get Terrell Pryor down the field, who used to be a Browns player. And uh, Matt Ryan trying to run as apparently he's not getting much. And Khalil Mack has a huge mistake. Up by seven. Wow. Okay, so I guess Bobby Wagner must have... Wait, what? I don't understand what just happened. I think what happened is uh, Bobby Wagner must have got a pick. And it glitched out and said he got a uh, penalty. I'm not sure. We'll probably have to take a look at that at the end. Fourth and three. Penalty on the offense. But does that mean then, then they didn't get it? So I think we might win. There's chances... The clock looks to be a factor, but the clock isn't going to stop. Or the clock isn't going to keep going, so they do have a chance. And uh, with a 7-point lead, I feel all right. And with the fact that the Falcons can't get anything, this is the last play. Last chance. It's over. Did we win? We won. Browns to the Super Bowl. There go Sea Clowns. Sorry, Matt Ryan. See you later. I'm sorry, Julio. It was close. You could have been here instead of Hopkins, but... Overall, I think it was the better choice. Hopkins has prov uh, provided some really good stuff. I almost said proofooded. When you win a Super Bowl, that, the whole thing just kind of melts away. It's just like, yeah, but we just did win. You know, kind of like the what the Broncos did. Pretty much ditched, like, I don't know, like three or four really solid defensive players, and they're still playing really good. It's just, you can ditch those players. You just want a Super Bowl. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> but we are going to try to build for at least one last chance to uh, take this team back to the Super Bowl. Of course, I won't go in and uh, you know slow sim all the games. I'll probably just sim them all the way, see if we're good enough. And uh, that's about it. I think with this pick, we are going to take a left tackle to play center, hopefully for us. Normal development trade. All right, so somewhat of a buzz. He's supposed to go number 31 instead of one. It's all right with me. I really could give a shit less. Uh, this is the last season for us anyways. So we have our team. Our center position is, uh, you know, quite a bit worse. Still all right, though. I can't really complain. 
Um, offense looking a little bit better just because of overall talent. Uh, middle linebackers looking better after trading uh, first and a second round for the Texans guy they have on the trade block. Once again, 10 and 6. So this is really interesting. Again, his stats are really damn good. 99 power move, 99 finesse. Fuck's sake. If Bango, if you're watching this, have you seen that? Fucking Joey Bosa, huh? That's Sim. I don't really... Let's take a first look at what our overall is. I don't really feel confident. 10 and 6 was what we got through last time. Uh, we're still 92. We're, oh, we didn't upgrade our players, actually. Got to do that first. First do that. Not expecting to have too much XP, but we should have a decent bit. A decent group of XP. Oh, we're... Pff, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I'm going to do all this, and then uh, we'll simulate. See what overall we are after upgrading all those players... 92? How? Please win. Please win. Okay, I really don't know why I didn't expect us to win. Uh, this is pretty much coming to an end. 52 to 7. And we win again, and we destroy him again. This defense is unstoppable. What was it? 52 to 7, and then fucking 49 to 3. Wow. So Carson Wentz actually did well this time. Bortles... Uh, a much better quarterback than who they had. Philip Rivers was like an 80 overall. Tally does get his yardage. AFC Championship game. We could lose, but I don't see how. I really don't see how. We, we've we been undefeated pretty much. In the, like, just absolutely untouched. Absolutely untouched. Let's see. So we are against the Seahawks. Makes sense. And holy shit. I've never seen this kind of dominance. I got to show you guys the sliders and all that stuff. Let's go league settings. You can see it's on all Madden. I don't know if that really matters. Let's go to... Where are the other sliders at? Gameplay sliders. Pretty sure it's all just basic. Yep, we have it at 50-50. I don't know if people change this stuff. I would assume 50-50 is fair. It gives both teams the even opportunity. But we're just dominating. I've never seen this. I've done rebuilds for quite a while. Especially this year, and I've never seen it. Not sure. Clay Matthews retires, so that's insane. Look at the signings. We're totally done. Uh, Adrian Peterson also retired. Fuck's sake. And we lost 16-8. to eight. What? What? That makes no sense. I mean, I guess it makes sense in the sense that... Sense, sense, sense. In the sense that I didn't expect us to be doing what we were doing but wow wow okay so we were fucked cliff averill i wouldn't have kept so um that was a little a huge waste of money to hold him how much money do we even have to be honest wow well actually actually to be fair that was our most expensive signing but we could easily work with it but luckily that's not my issue we took the browns to the super bowl won one Lost one so surprisingly. It's just ridiculous. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that at all. But, I mean, overall, pretty solid rebuild, I think. Especially this last season. Didn't win the Super Bowl, but I've never seen a team dominate as much as we have in the playoffs there. And uh, it's kind of surprising because we have really porous cornerbacks, honestly. We have Darius Slay. We never got a rookie cornerback. And just a bunch of just randomers. Uh, Kyle Fuller has been a great help, though, and uh, the D-line was really solid. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this rebuild, and um, if you are new to the channel, maybe subscribe. I really would appreciate it. It'd be nice to get, like, 250 likes on this because you guys actually just absolutely destroy the like button. Normally on my other videos, I'd be like, you know, 20 or 30, but for these, it's just like you guys could easily hit 250. You guys are so amazing. I appreciate every one of you. Um, and hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.